They've got the game and they're having fun. Spend some time with the Swedish men's wheelchair basketball team. You win or lose as a team. The European champions of 2007 in wheelchair basketball are jubilant. This title is one of Team Sweden's first big wins. A step forward for the underdogs of the final against the more established team of Great Britain. Equipped with a good portion of self-confidence and boldness, they're now building for Beijing. Individuals. Everybody has different worlds and uh, different playing styles and different things that they can bring to the group. And that's a challenge to really get these 12 players going the same direction. The conditions for wheelchair basketball in Sweden do not yet compare to those in the US or Britain. The number of teams is small, a key aspect when trying to achieve a consistent level of excellence. In the build-up for the Beijing Paralympics, Decisions on team members and tactics have yet to be made. But one thing is already certain, everyone is dying to go. I've been to many big events like World Championships and Euro Championships and stuff like that, but you can't compare anything to, to it, it's unbelievable. It's unusual to see a female coach with a men's team. No problem for the guys. Ines Lopez has been with the team since 2002 and is official coach since 2005 and now everybody knows her. Uh, Europe, the, the World Championships in, in Amsterdam for two years ago, you know, because I walk a lot on the bench, uh, back on the forward, and one of the referees, he didn't know me at all. And he's like, yeah, ma'am, I'm gonna ask you to sit down, it's only the coach is allowed, otherwise you get a technical foul. I'm like, I am the coach! <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but now I think everybody knows uh, who I am, so no, it's fun and it is a little bit different, but the team, there's no problem with it and more and more that we get out, you know, there are people a little bit surprised at the beginning and uh, just brings good attention to the team and my players and, and the whole team with the coaches and stuff, so it's really good. It's, it's, it's fantastic. She's a really good coach, so yeah, it's, uh, I don't see her as a woman or as a man, you know, like that, no, it's not, it's the, uh, the skills as a coach that you look up to, I think. You have to have fun, number one. It's fun, so yes. And, uh, but maybe not for me anyway. I, I like to win too, but uh, yeah, fun and fun and uh, winning. It's, it's a good mixture. The Swedish basketballers are a dedicated, passionate and easygoing team who are fun to be around. Should they win the Paralympics in Beijing, we hope they stay that way.